Welcome to the National Sailing Centre of Singapore, the host of the SIM 35th Singapore Open Championships. It's the biggest local windsurfing multi-class event organised by the Windsurfing Association of Singapore and supported by Singapore Sailing Federation. Right, basically we would like to see this event going on well so that in the future, the next year and the year after, we're going to have this event expanding to attract more sailors from just not just the region, Asia, maybe Asia Pacific, and maybe in, from Europe. 27 athletes in four different classes aimed for a clean start and some early wins. The action began with a Techno 293 class, followed by RS1, the last bullet went to the competitive RSX class. The SIM 35th Open Windsurfing Championship is the biggest event on the Asian calendar and features a raft of new and young athletes. They're already maestros of the racetrack and attract the most attention. Working hard from a young age, they grasp every advantage of nature's elements, master their demanding boards and fly over the water with immense skill. This event has been is, is being held by uh, SIM and they've been doing it for quite a few years. So I believe that it's a very uh, positive I think people have been starting to sail from a very young age and then um, they have to carry on to, to youth classes such as um, the RSX today and they'll be going on to uh, Olympic classes in the future. The championship is a perfect platform for the continent's young athletes to showcase the results of their training. Step by step, they'll follow the pathway to elite senior racing, walking the ladder from Techno 293 to RSX Olympic windsurfing, becoming exceptional athletes and ambassadors for their countries on the way. Hard work rewards and gives exceptional results and these youngsters know that you must put in the effort to be able to perform against the world's best. At the end of the first day and the three races of the SIM 35th Singapore Open Championships, Thailand had dominated the Techno 293 and RS1. Audrey Yong from Singapore is leading the RSX 8.5. In the RSX 9.5, there's only four points between the top three, with Oka Sulaksana from Indonesia having the smallest of leads. This year is the, uh, the 2016 Rio's Olympic and the RSX class is in it as part of the sailing and we are training as hard as possible to qualify for the Olympic in March which we have two tickets for the guys and one for the girls. Uh, this race is a very very good opportunity as uh, the guys are standards are around the same so we have a close fight during each race and it, with this kind of competitiveness it brings us better. is an Olympic year and all the events around the globe are a warm-up before the grand finale. RSX is one of the most exciting of sailing classes. Technical, physical and mental power are key for reaching maximum speed and a finishing line first. Students get to leave their studies and coursework and head out on the water to an entirely different type of course, the race course. The Singapore Institute of Management is a leading provider of higher education and professional training in Singapore. 
and embraces the SIM Championship as a unique opportunity for students to excel out of the classroom and represent their college. SIM recognises the skills required to succeed in competitive sailing. Decision making, strategy and boat on boat tactics are perfectly aligned to business life. Every year we have this, we have to organise inter-tertiary uh, competition so that students to know more about windsurfing because windsurfing is uh, really not very popular in Singapore so we are trying to build up windsurfing to let more people know about it so that's why we create this event. Windsurfing combines both the pleasure of being on the open sea the thrill of speed and challenges the individual to discover the equilibrium between physical power, mental strategy and technique. Sailing is a learning experience like no other and really stretches the students, as well as giving them skills that they can apply across their academic studies. Competing in sailing is far more than theory knowledge acquired from books. Sailing provides an additional tool in the student's kit. Being alone on a windsurf, trimming the sail, minimising mistakes to be at the finish line first, makes you independent, quick thinking, a decision maker and able to deliver against set goals. All skills to help you achieve what you want in life. In sailing, your age doesn't matter whether you're a student or an athlete, or whether you sail in smaller classes or the Olympic events, the goals are the same. Secure a clear start, maintain maximum speed, make the least mistakes, keep consistent and cross the finish line first. I think one of the really cool things about the Singapore Open is that uh, there's categories for all age groups. Uh, whether you are in, uh, if you're an Olympic RSX or if you're in the feeder class for RS1 or Big Techno, which is perfect for the young, the young children and students, everybody's getting on the water and also for the students as well, there's a club class for them. The Sim 35th showed the unique characteristics of sailing across all these aspects. The clear start made by Prapat Sang Nim in RS1 and Lemmy Tio in Raceboard was enough to earn their victories. In the Sim Windsurfing Championships 2016, the students of Singapore Management University made the least mistakes, dominating to win four out of five classes, with the final victory going to the Singapore Institute of Management. Thailand's young athlete Bonyarit Sangun won the Techno 293 with a virtually flawless performance. A similar level of superiority was on the scorecard of Singapore's Audrey Yong, who dominated the RSX women's fleet. A clear win too from the experienced Chris Newman in the Formula fleet. There was a consistent top three scoreline in the RSX men fleet from Indonesia's four-time Olympian Oka Suluksana. Victory was close though, by just one point over Singapore's Leonard Ong. The race here is a small fleet, yeah, but they are all very, very good. Yeah. And I'm not young anymore, <laughs> so I'm the oldest here. And yeah, maybe my experience is a bit better, but the power is not, not there anymore. Yeah. And specialists today, very strong win and maybe for me it's too strong and I cannot handle it. The Sim 35th closed with an atmospheric ceremony and tributes to the winners and podium finishers.